So remember when I said that your mood, your mental health, your emotional well-being is important? I meant it. And on each of the daily pages, you'll find a section at the bottom that speaks towards what is your mood in the morning and in the evening. And it's more of a check-in for you to write, how are you feeling? Remember, this is a personal journal or planner for yourself. So be honest. And one of the things that I like to do is I like to track and record things. So whether you use this or not, there is a mood tracker at the beginning that you can use to help you figure this out. So again, I'm going to show you digitally, but use this however fits best for you. If you don't want to track morning and night, a.m. and p.m., don't. Do whatever works best for you. But the way the mood tracker works for me and, and the best practice I think I would recommend is create a legend first, right? So I'm going to put patterns on here and I already have some that works. It could be colors. It could be patterns. It could be solid. Whatever makes sense to you. Again, there is no right or wrong for this. Um, do that. Create it. Draw it. Some people want are, are very particular about what they want to do, do that, right? But just create this so that you know for yourself, how are you tracking your mood? Create an orange one, and I'm going to create one more. I think I got blue. And what I want you to do is write for yourself so that you remember each day, this is when I was mm, feeling out of sorts. Right. And, and this is this is however you want to do it. This is something I would do. Um, these are my words just for, for this example. Um, I'm feeling. Mm, I'm going to go with angry. Sad. Happy. There is no example. And some people may be think may, may say that I'm simplifying this however you feel is valid however you define that however you want to track your patterns and and notate things do that for you do whatever is best and so what i would also recommend is that when you check in with yourself you know you want to fill in each one we're gonna try and I don't know if I can actually get it to fit that, but the idea is I'm covering that. I'm covering purple for that square, right? And so you're going to do that for each one, however you check yourself in. And then write about it in the daily pages. And so I wonder if I can, let me see if I can do it. So here on the daily page, I'm skipping just so that you can see this, there's the mood tracker. It correlates with the date, right? And right, what is it? Give a little bit more um background on what you're feeling and maybe why what is it that that triggered you what is it that made you feel good why are you feeling confused etc cetera, etc cetera, right and so when we do that we know on the first day i felt this way on the second day this way right and feel free to write dates if you want to we just kind of kept the the time and it does if you look at it, month one, month two, month three, if there aren't 31 dates, don't fill that one in, start on the next month, et cetera. All right. This is yours to use or not use up to you. We just provide a space for it.